Christopher Abramich here in my local park and I found I was thinking of climbing a tree and uh, putting it in a video showing you guys how I used to climb trees and if I still can because I weigh more now and I'm uh, a lot taller so just gotta set the camera up properly and get a view of this tree as you can see it's got a very neat kind of a gnarly curve where it jutted this way to the you could say to the left and then turned right and then obviously all the branches reach towards the sun where the sunlight is but okay so let's see if we can do this right I'm gonna put something to prop it I still need to get a better uh, tripod of course here I'll prop the camera right here prop it pointing up right there is perfect you can see how much of the tree I can climb up break as I grow on it so I think see a smarter way would be to but then it might break so I don't really want to break my back. <laughs> yeah, I'll see if I can bounce off. <laughs> Woo! That was a bit of fun. I think I'm gonna try one or two more trees. There's some that have been, like the branches have been broken, but this tree looks definitely like a, a viable option. So, doing this little kind of uh, what you call it a, a large effort just to see if I still got my tree climbing skills. All right. Let's set this camera up again. You gotta have fun, right? So you gotta find myriads of ways to make your day better. That's what you gotta say when you're climbing trees. I can do this, but be cautious with each step. Each step can be a make or a fall, you know? So, here we go. Ooh. And I'm up. Ooh. I kinda wanna jump from here. It might be fun. But, uh, here, I'm gonna go up one more level. So, wish me luck. There's spiders up here too. A little bit spooky. So, you do it. You can extend, find a new footing or a grasp on a sturdy, sturdy branch. And then, elevate. Feels so good up here. Well, now I gotta make it down. It's gonna be just as hard as getting up. Oh. 
Sometimes you can use your thighs. Slide. Down as well. I think I'm gonna jump from about here. Should be too hard. Three, two. Woo! So that was a fairly hard challenge because the first part here is about seven feet tall. So getting up on that first initial branch was a pain in the arse, but yeah, did it easily. Got over it, you know? Some things that are challenging, you know, you can get done in five minutes. It's just a matter of concentration, focus, and knowing all the little, little things you gotta do. Whew, that was a good little workout, I like that. So refreshing. Maybe up in the trees with the breeze. Oh, I made a rhyme there. <laughs> but yeah, like in a maple tree. So apropos being in Canada, you know. Huge maple right here. And uh, a lot of people on the East Coast more so do the, the tapping of all the maple trees to get, get all the maple syrup or the sap that is turned into syrup. So I'm interested to see like if people on the West Coast do too, probably to a very little, small extent because there's less maples on the West Coast here, but definitely doable. In the spring, I think it's most active in the spring when the trees are thawing and there's a lot more uh, water flow with uh, rivers and and also the uh, sunlight that warms up the, the tree makes the syrup and, or not the syrup, the sap able to flow more. Hope you enjoyed that. Look at all this crap on the, this tree. This is an old gnarly one. Probably by the look of it, maybe 50. I'd say about 50 years old. About 50. Hello. What's your dog's name? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Can I throw the ball? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> he wants to keep the ball. <laughs> He's a big dog, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Is that Black Lab? Black Lab? Good job. <laughs> Smart dog, eh? All right, I'm just gonna check out this little street, or it's not even a stream, it's like a pond. Right here. Pretty freaking dirty, but it's obviously uh, where a lot of things flow to. And around little streams and whatnot, if you if you know like herbology and stuff, everything grows more. Like one one to two or what's the word? One point five to two times more, I would say. So it's very uh, interesting to check these areas. There's a big rose bush here. Big relative to some. That's actually it. Average. Oh, there's a spider. Fucking freaking spiders, man. They're everywhere. Wow, this is such a cool area. It looks like a beaver den. It looks like a beaver kind of uh, den area. Oop. Oh, here's some big old plantain. 
flip it over. Just gotta make sure it's clean. Usually I like using the the seeds. As you can see, they're ready to seed and sprout. Get rooted before the winter, you know? Here, I'll, I'll plant something. Watch. You cover it. Because uh, you never know. It could be a light winter. You know, it could be a light winter and not very much heavy snow. And then, therefore, um, a lot more proliferation of all the seeds and whatnot that uh, drop at the end of the summer season and so there's more that grows in spring of course right ah so beautiful here I, it'd be better if the city would fund some fruit fruit tree growing projects like figs especially figs because those are always uh, sturdy and I mean hardy and they are very durable for the winter months and whatnot, so they don't die out. They're strong perennials. But yeah, here's I want to show a couple more things here. There's nettles. Those are good. Everyone knows that nettles are very painful if you get stung by them, but that kind of like hot acid. It's kind of acid that burns when it touches your skin and nerves and but if you eat it properly and steep it in tea, then it's obviously a lot better and more useful and very warming in the winter. Here, I'll show seeds up close of the plantain. Very interesting, there's always two halves, at least. And then the seed is inside, that sprouts out. So it's got a strong shell that protects it from the cold and whatnot. Here I'm gonna plant a little bit right in this dead grass spot. The problem with grass is that there's there's not very deep of roots. Um, they're very tiny, and so they don't stay lush, especially in the in the summer, because their roots don't go very deep. So the deeper the root, the better and more lush, at least uh, in the summer months that the plant will be here so that's very important to keep in mind what I'm going to do is pick one of these probably take this back with me it's very neutral that's why I like plantains it's it's not as salty bitter it's just neutral kind of its own flavor it's interesting mm -mm 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 -mm. And yeah, I'll get a couple more of these. And then I'm gonna walk around, bend a little bit here. Go make a funny video. Edit. Funny video edit. Is that here? There's just more blackberries. Blackberries, blackberries. Right there, there is a, is that a squirrel or skunk? I think I just seen a skunk. So I should probably, probably keep my distance. Looks like cool little dens in there. Little dens for the animals. All right, well, that's my little tour of this park. I'll just say it's in Newton. Huh. Cool. Also, these plants right here. These are the Shat, okay? These are the William Shatner. <laughs> oh man, I just pulled out the whole thing. But these bulbs right here, these heads, these have a uh, I think it's sugar in them too, but as you can see, they're little seeds and they smell like lemon and pineapple. It's a mix. And that's why it's called pineapple weed. But it's very pleasant to kind of 
you on. And what you can do is like, if you don't want to chew and eat all the seeds, you just kind of get the flavor in your mouth <laughs> and then spit it out, right? So at least you're getting something good, but you're also being part of nature and returning the seeds to be re-sown and so they can grow up naturally as they as seeds should right? so all right some of them are more green here i'm going to try this more greeny one I like the flavor. All right, so this guy in front of me has been uh, waiting here for a long time. So I, I th I'm, I'm getting bored today, and I, I realized I have this uh, can of wacky in my bag. So I'm gonna go see if I can sneak around and spray a little bit, you know, have some fun. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue on with this uh, funny little trend. This is perfectly uh, washable. It's uh, non-toxic. You know, made in China. It's all good. Right? So, I'm gonna put this to use. Let's see what happens. Let me just pull out here a little bit. That guy works for Lead Core. It's called Lead Core. Just chilling, you know. Taking a little break, you know what I'm saying? Put that on, yeah. Oh. Ooh. Sorry about my parking. I owe you. I <laughs> got these guys way. So yeah. I just can pretend that I'm uh Looking at these beautiful branches, and, you know. <laughs> I did it. Woo so I'm just chilling here at my local park. Um, there is a beautiful flower I found. It smells like raspberries. So, um, you ever find this one? Smell it. it smells good. Yeah.
I miss. Hey, you ladies want some flowers? I I, I was just up there. I, I I was thinking these flowers might be so like bright in your day. You know. Smell 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 how uh, angelic they are. Do Do you know the name of that flower? No, I don't. That's a. Uh, it's called Angelica, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want to ask you guys a question. Okay. Did you guys, did you guys see that uh, silly stream? No. Okay, so I went up there and I tried to spray it on you guys. Oh, what? Like to, just seeing if it would make it. Oh. But it, 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 it didn't really work, you know? Oh. <laughs> okay. You got to be aware, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, kind of loud, right? So I can't hear Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, the, pl the fountain is loud. So. Hopefully it's not dirty water, right? Anyways, it was good uh, seeing you guys. Thank Hope you, you enjoy that. Yeah.